Hey, this is Rex Link Fish. This is another update video about my new 50 gallon tank. So, I moved the fish in. It's been a day since the fish have gone in. And I have added more rocks. As you can see, one is hiding back there. And there's a bigger rock there. And I moved the plants in. Sorry for the a little bit of the cloudiness and the picture. That's because of moving the plants in. The some of the sand got unsettled and it made the tank super cloudy. It was anyways earlier. Um, and then there's that one. And then I made another passageway with a, a some other rocks. There's the smaller lava rock with the bigger one back there. And the plants. Um, there's some floating green of that one other plant. And also, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of, kind of hiding. There's a little bit of a plant back there. There's all the angelfish. I didn't have any fish die and there's some snails that I have moved in here. For to keep the algae problems down. So we went out and bought some acrylic, just some acrylic planks right here. Um, we actually only had to buy one and it was only $9 for the acrylic. We only had to buy one because we just bought one and then cut it in half, or at least had them cut it in half. So we have a small gap at the back of the tank. So it works perfect. The only problem is the planks. They bend a little bit. I don't know if you can see. But they bend. They're bending a little bit down. But it's holding up. I'll probably duct tape it. This is a glass tank, so I, it's not like it'll be impossible to get the duct tape off. So that's. Just the other update, the temperature is now up to 76 degrees, if you can see that. And the big molly I moved into my dad's tank and it's doing fine as far as I know. And we just bought these lights. Um, the black part of it was $14 for four feet. And then the lights themselves for two of them was eight dollars and so it's sun sunlight lights or no daylight lights because my dad is going to be growing plants so we just bought two of them and my plants will probably grow pretty well on this light i think i'm sorry if you can't see very well I'm looking in the camera and you can't see the tetras very well. But that cloudiness should clear up once the filters do more. And once the sand settles more. There's a cool guppy. And the biggest angelfish. Juvenile. And I just wanted to update you on it. So there you go. Okay, I'm out.